Hello people, welcome you all to Mr. Boo. My name is Daniel, I am MVP in Connected System Developer. I work as technical leader at Tech Result. I'm here to present our fourth lesson about Workflow Foundation for ASP.NET developers. So let's get started. So, our series. series. We started with uh, an introduction to Workflow Foundation for ASP.NET developers. Then we developed custom activities with Workflow Foundation. In the last lesson, we have created a workflow, a state machine workflow to model our solution. And today, we are going to develop a runtime wrapper class. And then, in the following lessons, we are going to finish developing our page flow solution. So, our today's agenda is developing a page flow service and developing a runtime wrapper class. Uh, in this lesson, we have a lot of code to do, so we are not going to have a uh, ter theory. We are going to go uh, straight to our demo and we are going to understand our theory, theory during our demo. So, let's get started and let's develop our page flow service and our runtime wrapper class. So, we have our solution here, the same solution we have created our state machine workflow in the last lesson. Today, we are going to finally create our web project. So, let's get started and create our project. Add new project. I will use C Sharp and I will use ASP.NET Web Application. I will call it Page Flow Web App. And OK. I will close my web form. We are not going to use a web form in this lesson. Today we are going to just code our service and runtime wrapper class. So, why do I need to implement a service here? Because we we have defined a contract. We have defined a contract here. Okay. ePage flow contract. Now we must uh, implement this contract, we must implement service and create a service that works in our web application. And that's what we are going to do today. How, the, how can the workflow redirect from a page to another one? Using the service that we are going to implement now. So to implement, to develop our page flow service, I will create another class. Page flow serves. And I must access my contract, so I need to add a reference in my project. A reference to page flow activity library. I need a news in here. Page flow activity library. And this guy will implement implement e page flow contract. I will click Implement Interface, and I will have my method and my event defined here. So, let's do it. How do I define my, my redirect event? So, my redirect event will obviously redirect to my next page. It will be called from the workflow here in my web application. So what I'm gonna do is the following. I need to access my HTTP context dot current dot response dot redirect to my URL. If I write like that, I will have a problem, because the redirect method throws an exception. 
that set, that you stop the the request the response to processing. So if I do that, I will have problems in my workflow. So I have to use it. This this parameter indicates if the current page execution should terminate. Should terminate. I will define false because then my my execution will finish and then my service will redirect. So it's simple like that. My redirect method just redirect to the page that my workflow pass as parameter to my redirect method. Now I will implement my event page changed. So how do I do that? I will create a I will create a method public void called uh, cha change page. I will pass my pass my parameter and the ID of my workflow. And then I'll just check if this dot page changed different of no. Then I will just invoke it. Page changed dot invoke and the sender I will just no and page flow args I will create an instance of page flow args passing my param and the id what what's this id is the id of my workflow so now i have i have created my page flow service my, my page flow service it's pretty simple and with that I I have created a communication between my workflow and my web application. With my service implemented, I have to create a runtime wrapper class. What it means? Here in my host application, I have to create a, I have to use the workflow runtime to create instances and to access to access instances. So I'm gonna create um I'm gonna create a wrapper class that will be better to manage my runtime. So let's start creating our run our wrapper class. I'll create another class here. Workflow runtime wrapper runtime. Runtime wrap will be the name. Okay.